Okay, let's take a look at some words here. Make that bigger. All right. So a paddle, like chopai, it's going to be a bat in British English. A bat in American English is going to be uh, chobang. All right. Behavior, it's a O U R, different spelling. Uh, be pissed is going to be drunk in English. Uh, be pissed in English is going to be very angry. So if you want to remember both, just remember when somebody drinks alcohol, they get really angry. I have a biscuit for British and a cookie for American English. Yeah, bingan biscuit and cookie chu chi, right? Just remember that way. Bloke or a chap. Probably more like a dude in English. So dude. Okay, um, bloody, so it's just like for emphasis, um, it just means incredibly fatal, right? Bloody, bloody hell. I guess it's pretty strong, so be careful. Uh, Bobby or a copper, that would be British, and then a cop in American. A bonnet is going to be a hood. Uh, Fadong Jijiao. A boot is going to be a trunk. Bugger, this is just like exclamation point. You know, someone's really angry. Uh, bollocks, uh, probably the equivalent would be like bullshit. Crap. Okay, that's interesting. Son of a bitch, probably. Or shit. Uh, let's see, chemist. I guess in Britain they say a chemist for a pharmacist. Uh, chips. So this is kind of a big one. It gets really confusing because chips are french fries in American and then crisps are chips in American. So it gets kind of confusing. Uh, they'll say a cooker in British English and a stove in American. All right, we'll take a break here and then we'll come back next time.